All right, we're giving Ultra Chaos another try in Crab Champions. Uh, last episode, we we discovered that this is a new difficulty that showed up in the beta. It is absolutely abysmal how how disgustingly difficult it is. But I went ahead and found Ice Storm, which should do 160 ice stacks over a four second period. It's a 10 second cooldown, so it's not great, but I think it's a pretty big aura. It's actually pretty tiny. Okay, so not really gonna be good enough for us here but okay we can try to make it work 10, 10 second cooldown is gonna kill me it's, it's way too long it'd be so fun if it was like a shorter period of time but every bullet caused an ice storm okay assassin early for five five one shot eliminations give us one percent extra damage yes please let's go for critical flawless so we're not one-shotting yet. I think our melees do. Yeah, so here we go. I'm going to do this for now to hopefully get a couple... Uh, oh, boy. Yeah, this is great. It's it's increasing our damage quite a bit. Ow, I took, I took damage though, so I lost Flawless. I think that's all right, though. Okay, what do we got? Sharpshooter, we'll take Sharpshooter. You definitely take elemental on this gun because uh, the proc chance is so high. And once again, we're just going to work on assassin here. Kind of unfortunate that that went off actually because it kind of stops us from getting more assassin procs. This is great. This is kind of what we need. Now we can... I think we can start one-shotting enemies. Because we've done enough to hopefully get another couple damage. Lightning aura. Oh, arcane shot is good, though. I think the shock... The, the radial shock is better. But arcane shot in the future would be good to get. Okay, so we're in a good spot. I think we definitely take... Sharpshooter. Paycheck might actually be wise early on, though, because uh, it's hard to get crystals. But I think I want to invest in just the overall growing damage. It's tough to say if that was, like, a wise choice. I'm liking that I can freeze these guys, though. Just going to keep my distance from these crabs. Can they stop jumping over my shots, please? There's one down. Okay, so he's in the water, so his ice is going away, but it is damaging him still. Okay. To get these crystals before they disappear. I kind of tried to time him jumping, but he's not actually jumping around. With the with the fact that all enemies can jump now is kind of scary, but it's like really sporadic w when they actually do it. I think Tasty Orange is a good idea just to hopefully get more damage and then start doing a couple one shots. I don't like this stage at all. I don't like this stage. Lightning Aura is going to help here. We can stay near enemies. And of course, Tasty Orange with increasing our damage over time. As we kill more things. Great. Great. Another one spawned, of course. Why wouldn't it? Where'd that crab go? I do like the fact that I can freeze the skulls. That's very helpful. Now, where's this crab? This should reveal him. Oh, hello. One more shot. Bang, there we go. Tasty Orange will be very good to keep us 
level against the enemies. Giant drill on grenades. I think I do reload arc. That could be pretty helpful. Rush will give us a lot of enemies. So hopefully we can get our one shots against them. Our lightning. Okay, lightning is just killing the, the crabs. Yeah. And it's going crazy for assassin too. Ow. This uh, lightning is going crazy. I'm glad I picked that up. It's probably one of the most effective things so far in the build. Ah, uh, but our our uh, armor's all gone. <laughs> Not good. The rush blessing gave you an additional reward. Okay, so we did do it because of the uh, lightning aura. Escalating shot's not going to be it, unfortunately. Wind up special delivery. Let's do more goods, probably. Chance to fire homing thorns along with your shots. That could be good. I'm going to go for special delivery, though. Hopefully invest in... more items being available. I will defend this cave with all of my might. Oh my. The stats are going insane on the side. Are you seeing this? Ow. This is a great start. We have a lot of damage increase. Whether or not this is going to be enough for the future, we'll have to find out. But I like where this has started. This is Island 8, so we should have a shop. And decent amount of crystals, actually. Ooh. This is good for right now. This is good for, over, like, overall, I think. Bonus crystals is probably the play. And maybe money is power. Ugh. Money is power is good. This is not good for this weapon. Money shot would be amazing. This would be the play if it was anything else other than the rocket launcher. Uh... I'm going to try and invest in more right now. I know that's like crazy. I think money shot is good. That was a hard toss up. Hope there's something good here. Lightning shot I think is 100% now. 40% chance. Never mind. Random. I might want to buy the armor. I don't know. Okay. The, the silver armor is better. I think I will buy that. We do aerial shot, arcane shot. One more reroll. If we see anything good, we take it. Uh, I think we just take another armor, honestly. I, I just need to make sure I'm protected. With three bosses, it's terrifying. So stay away. Hopefully just affect the enemies with as much elemental as I can. I'm actually doing good damage. This is insane. Arcane shot's helping a ton. So is aerial shot. I'm just jumping around. Yeah, this is great. He's on top of the barrels. So we take those out. Yeah, that was really good. I feel like I've kept up with the enemies. Which is the first time I can say I, I feel that way. Bonus crystals checklist. We go checklist here. We have to just increase our damage. Bonus crystals would have been good for more economy, but if we can increase our damage in any way possible, we're going to be doing that. Especially scaling damage like this.
damage aura, damage grenade. Damage aura might ruin our assassin. I feel like we do damage grenade, make our grenades stronger. It should be 100%, 200% damage. Oh my god, okay, this is really good. Uh, spike chest, I'm greedy. Okay, ice slugs is probably the best thing we could have seen from, from that. I mean, to be fair, lightning aura is kind of ruining our, our assassin as well, but that's that's okay. I think we're getting enough stacks and we're getting eliminations that I feel better feeling safe in the run. Now, this guy is tanky. Holy. Okay. But to be honest, like healthy enemies do not have stand a chance against like arcane arcane is one of the best ways to deal with tanky enemies they're just gonna slowly melt and there we go poison turret could be really good poison explosion do i want a poison turret or do i want poison explosions poison turrets are kind of central around wherever the wherever the turret is which isn't necessarily a bad thing but I can I can guarantee where I want the poison to go. I think I'm gonna go turret here, actually. Kind of a wild choice. Let's see how he does. Seems alright so far. It feels good. Going for the crystals. Yeah, this is feeling good. I think we're uh, we're looking good here. I don't know how how I could possibly do this on a n different gun, but I think that the, the hardest difficulty is to like run this with like the worst gun in the game, which I can't even think of what the worst one would be. Poison shot is too good to pass up. I know lightning lightning aura has been carrying, but when you can do forty percent chance for poison on the first pickup. I think you do it. Hello. Stop that. We're doing a lot of great effects on enemies. It's keeping us at, like, keeping the enemies at bay. We should be able to deal with this guy. The other one might just melt and die. Looks like it. Yep. That's why Arcane's good. I still think Poison and Arcane should swap. It's a little bizarre to me that Poison is not the one that's taking the damage. Ice Claws, Random Shot, Potent Magic. We definitely do Potent Magic. Uh, do I do a health or elite? I think I'm going to go for elite actually and try to deal with the enemies as soon as possible. I know it's crazy. Where's my poison turret? Here he is. Yeah, a little spooky that they're coming after me like that. Normally I wouldn't do this choice of like an elite when I don't have to. But I actually think we're doing okay with damage. Should be the one down. As long as we keep the status effects going. Yeah, the bosses shouldn't be able to heal.
Oh my god. Chill out. He's gonna dive at me? Okay, that's fine. He just kamikaze didn't die. Okay, that wasn't great. We lost all of our armor, but hopefully we can get a double armor from this. Oh, we don't even get the extra chests. Oh, you know what? That makes it a lot worse. Checklist, I think, is just the right choice here. Yeah, 1% per. Now we're going to get 2% per 10 eliminations. And we go for upgrade. Okay, even though that wasn't the greatest choice, I think we're still in a good spot. Hello, big guys. I say that, and then a, bo a boss spawns. Like, why? Oh my god. What is this level? This should just be called the unfair difficulty. I'm going to try and kill all the other enemies first because it will increase our damage and then we can deal with the boss at the end. I get rid of that sniper. The snipers are the worst. We've seen what the snipers can do. Oh, why are you here? There we go. Yeah, let's try to like deal with the sniper crab now. Stop it. That yeah, should be him dealt with. Here's my poison turrets. Hopefully that could, that could hit the skull. I started to get some big stacks of poison on him. He keeps jumping all over the place. This will be a win on this stage, but it's just a matter of how long it's going to take. That tree is troll. It's against the world barrier. Okay, anytime now, please. Reload arc almost killed us there with the barrels. Yeah, there's the boss kill. Get rid of the barrels that are rolling towards us. Why not spawn another one? Yeah, that's great. Thank you. My goodness, that was a stage <laughs> for sure. <laughs> we need health. Potent magic. Go for random, hope for some health. Is that another boss? Are you kidding me? Sorry, I'm really focused. This is this is honestly like horrible. That, that was another boss, by the way. That was a that was an elite. Ice Skull. Don't know how the minigun didn't hit me. That's okay. If 
Oh yeah, just why not spawn another one? Yeah, sure. He's jamming on the wall there. Okay. Get rid of this guy. And then we just have the uh, elite to deal with again. Oh, lovely. Where is this uh, turret? I feel the turrets spawn in the wall again. I'm trying to just give him stacks of arcane and walk away. Yep. This is this is uh this is gaming. Oh my god, this barrel is impervious. Like what is happening? Die, please, thank you. More arcane stacks would be great. I don't know what I'm reloading to actually look at him. Hello. These bosses spawning on random levels is kind of like I don't know, malicious activity. Okay, there we go. Oh, boy. Equalizer. Ah, uh, that could work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This would be... This would be more damage if we remove our grenade. Which, honestly, if I drop the grenade at the start of the round... Could be huge. I'm gonna do that. Let's go on this thing real quick. Okay, I got hit. That's totally fine. Honestly, I probably would have preferred to get the health chest instead of the random. But I'll take it. We have a shop, thank God. <laughs> I, I, I've, I would, I, 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 yeah, words. I have never been happier to see a shop. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I think I need to take armor. Unfortunately, big chest is good. Oh, taking armor is such a punch in the face, man. I think I have to. Split shot is huge. So is char uh, supercharged. Hmm. Aerial shot is really good. Just jumping around and doing damage. Arcane shot's really good. Uh, this is not that good. So let's do that. Wait, is this like a hundred percent chance? Fifty percent chance. That's huge, isn't it? Isn't really good. I would love to get supercharged. I just don't think it's going to happen. Now, we have to drop our grenade at the beginning to do more damage. Make sure I grabbed every little bit of health that I possibly could. We've got to make this one armor plate last us through this fight. I got to drop my grenade. Please fall. Can I just stand here and just do lightning damage?
I'm cheesing it. I don't care. But the rest of them died. Okay, that's huge. Let me fall off here. I cheesed the fight. I'm not proud of it. Okay. Healing chest. Grenadier. More uses of my grenades. Surprisingly, I'm going to grab that. Now we have equalizer working. And we don't have to drop our damage grenade. So our grenade should do even more. I might go for this health. Yeah. Just once though. This is a great build. It's not like a crazy amount of damage, but it is useful. Utility's great. Let's see if the turret can help us out here. Yeah, that was a great round. Damage chest. Trick shot. Checklist for sure. XL is... On a, uh, no, no, hear, hear me out. Checklist. For every 10 eliminations, we get 3% extra damage. Uh, energy rings is terrifying. Never mind. I, uh, triple, triple amount of enemies, but also energy rings is just a recipe for disaster. I think I just took an alternate timeline where I did not lose the run. But if I went the other way, I probably lost the run. Split shot is doing wonders for us. We are no longer assassinating though. That's kind of terrifying. That should do it though. Uh, unfortunately, this will break our... This will break our equalizer, which is doing basically what this is doing. Let's see. Equalizer is... 100% extra damage. Honestly, this is doing better than that. I don't know what we would drop instead. Maybe aerial shot. We can drop that on the floor while we start. Let's do that. We have a boss here. Not a fan of that. Not a fan of that. Ow. I'm going to freeze the boss if I can. There we go. And then take some shots on him. Some pot shots. Okay. Let's grab our aerial shot back here. Let's get the crystals. 3,000 from the boss. Okay, here we go. Heavy hitter. Fire rate being reduced is not good, I don't think. Melee damage, I guess, if we want... No, this, this is, all of these ruin my, my even a build. If anything, I want to grab, like, maybe an extra bolt that shoots. Then I have eight of these. I need health. I need health. I need health. Okay, let's let's not be dumb. I'm like sitting here like, oh, but I could get a better damage thing. This is how you throw. Another boss? Are you kidding me? I see a sniper crab. My poison turrets on the other side of the of the island might be worth going over there to make use of him. I don't know though. Yeah, he's right there on that corner. Okay, I just have the fire skull I think left. There's a fire crab too. Good. 
Now it's just the fire skull. Okay, please don't die to the fire skull. It'd be very embarrassing. Only a few more rounds left. He's stuck on the wall. This is perfect for us. Okay, honestly, this has been a great run. Like, I do feel good. Everything feels good with this. Mm, Fortitude would be great if we got it earlier, but it's not that great because it's only a couple more islands left. I think we take armor here because armor actually will grant us more damage reduction than the health would, considering our hammage, uh, our hammage, our health is at uh, 600. So. Each of those, I think, are worth 600 health, or a, 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 a percentage of our health. I'm not really sure how it works. I know that like armor does scale with your max HP, so having a lot of HP is going to be good for doing more uh, reduction of damage. But I don't really know how it all works. I'm just, I'm just here to survive. Yeah, that took quite a bit of our HP. I'm just trying to get as many eliminations as I can to hopefully help with getting more Oh, bonus crystals could be good. This is just better though. I think we take the, the crystal bundle. We hopefully get a lot of money. Yeah. I think we do this. More goods for sale is good, but hopefully the, the reroll just works a couple times for us and we don't lose the reroll right away. I think I have to fly over here. The play on this island, I feel like, is just to do this over and over again. And hopefully, hopefully clear all the enemies out in the in the process. There goes those crabs. We have a lightning crab over here by the by the launcher. Please stop camping the launcher. I don't think he can freeze because he's in the lava. That's fine. We still have some armor plates. We're just lucky we haven't seen the giant ant yet. Because those have so much armor and I don't really have anything to deal with that. There we go. Get the crystals. We have 100k crystals. This is good. What is this thing again? Let's just check this. I don't want to lose 20% of my health. If we were at a shop, I would do it, but I need as much health as I can right now. I I, I can get because I, I need to make sure I survive. Ooh. Then we take two silver, silver armor here. Elemental's all right. This is a horde wave. Which is a bit spooky. Watch out for the starfish. Tasty orange should just go crazy here with how many eliminations we're getting. The limpet needs to leave, please. It's crazy how much more I need to use the, the melee attack in this with how often they're on top of me already. I'm using it to like sort of because I think it stuns them for a second. At least it feels that way or it just pushes them away so they can't melee you. God, man, that's <laughs> this is insane. Big Meg is great, but it does ruin our equalizer. Let's see. Let's pick it up for now and hopefully get another weapon. Fire shot. I'm going to take that and that should let us. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's 12 across. I gotta remember it's 12 across so I can easily like see that this is 10. Okay. We have three more three armor plates. 
I feel like we could do this. That was a great heal. I see a shielded skull. I hate those. But our damage is great. This is this is going well. Even our melees do a lot. If you guys want to see in the future, by the way, if you want to see me try doing the Ultra Chaos, but with a way worse weapon, because let's be honest, the the carry at the end of the day is this weapon. It is it is very good. The AOE is good. I got hit. That's okay. Um, the 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 carry potential from this gun is just so good. Uh, yeah, damage shot. Poison Orb would be great, but you can't really pass up damage shot. It's like an extra 200% damage. Yeah, 400% damage. Take poison shot. We take juice for sure. We're gonna need one more weapon mod. Oh, that's that's it. That's all we get. Potent magic. Like homing shot would be a great weapon mod to include. Equalizer is definitely great. Yeah, this is perfect. We buy this, and then we have homing shot as well. So this is gonna be the build. This is what we're gonna have to go in with. We have equalizer working. We have two hundred percent extra damage from equalizer. Let's see if we can do it. I think we can. Jeez. Okay. There's three of them. We have a lot of armor. That's, that's the only thing that's going to hopefully keep us alive here. Homing shot's going nuts. Isn't that like... It's just making our bullets home on the enemies. Where is our poison turret? I see... I think I saw poison going off right there. We lost a plate. I'm actually going to try and kill the skulls because they give us uh, extra damage percentage. Maybe clear one of them, please. There's one. We're down to three plates. I love the homing shot. This is amazing. It goes around the corner. I can just shoot around corners. Uh oh. Okay, we have like no plates left. This is still very losable. Come on. Please. Let's go. Oh my god, we did it. Well, that's the Ultra Chaos run. Uh, like I said, if you guys want to see us try this with a different weapon, let me know. Uh, that was tough. <laughs> that was not easy. This homing shot is awesome. It's a 100% chance to make shots home towards enemies. Wow. And I think that was like, that was the carry at the end of the day. Wow. What a run. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, let me know if you guys want to see more of that with a different weapon, but I can't believe we made it happen. Just over a million damage dealt. Pretty much to the dot. Yeah, that was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed. And also, let me know what you guys want to see next for the uh, the diamond weapons. We've kind of taken a bit of a break doing those, but we did do this one. Probably the auto shotgun next, because uh, it's another shotgun. I want to get it out of the way. <laughs> but yeah, catch you in the next one. Peace.